Hey guys, come spend the day with me. Today we're working in person. So I woke up at 6 a.m., got ready, and now we're off to the office. The reason why I'm not wearing any makeup is because I like to start my day with a quick workout. If you're new here, hi. Welcome to Beyond Numbers. My name is Rasha and I'm a senior data analyst. I work in investment banking and today I'm bringing you along for a typical day in my life. I'm lucky because the gym is free for employees so I definitely take advantage of that. It helps me feel energized and focused for the rest of the day and I like to enjoy the view. After getting a good workout in, I head to the showers to freshen up and get ready for the day. And after that, I make my way to my desk to officially start my work day. Here's an overview of my schedule for today. As usual, it is pretty packed. I have a lot of things to get done. My day starts at 9 a.m. and the first thing I do is a quick quality assurance check. I review everything that ran overnight, the data pipelines, report, automation, just to make sure nothing broke or failed in the background. If something looks off, I message the team or anyone involved. I troubleshoot the issue and make the necessary fixes. Once that's done, I go and check my emails, clean up any quick emails, and then dive into my main work. Then I get to work on an upcoming project. And with projects, there are usually a lot of meaning. As an introvert, I like to message stakeholders a day in advance with my notes and a few visuals to set expectations. I treat meetings like mini presentations. I prep bullet points, guide the conversation, and always leave space for feedback. Afterward, I send a quick summary with the next steps. This helps me feel organized and confident, even without being the loudest person in the room. Time for a quick break. I'm gonna go and grab some coffee so I can feel energized and ready to get back to work. So after grabbing coffee, I also uh, have some breakfast at my desk because I'm really hungry at this point. So hey guys, I booked a room because I have some meetings, so I just prefer it when I'm in a room because in case someone else is working, I'm not disturbing them. My setup for the meetings. So the first meeting is our daily sprint meeting. It's a short 15 minute check-in where the team shares what we worked on yesterday and what we're doing today. And if we're blocked on anything, it helps keep everyone online and on track. Then we have our refinement session. That's where we review upcoming tasks, make sure they're clear and doable, and break them down into smaller steps if needed. It's all part of the agile workflow, short focused meeting to keep projects moving smoothly. It's now 2.47 and I just finished the refinement and my other meetings. So now I know what I have to do for next sprint and I can already start organizing my job. As soon as I'm done that one last story, which I'm like almost halfway. So I do have a few like hours to work on it. One thing I want you guys to understand is how a data analyst project workflow actually works. First, I get the task and I understand it. Everything starts with a task. It might come from a manager or a project owner. I usually get the request on Jira. And I take time to understand what they really want. Not just the question, but the why behind it. If things are not clear, I'll hop on a quick Teams call, or I'll use Lucy chart to map out the scope visually. A good example would be if I get asked, why did sales dip last month? It's not enough. I will go on and find out which region, which product, and what are we comparing it to. Is it from last month or uh, last year the same month? After that, I locate the raw data and I clean it. Once I understand the task, I go find the data, usually from Snowflake, Denodo, or SQL Server. I write SQL queries to pull the relevant data set and then clean and transform them, removing any duplicates, handling missing values, and standardizing all formats. 
Sometimes I'll copy parts into Excel to double check values or do quick verification. So I like to use SQL and Excel at the same time just to speed things up. Then the third step would be to create a new table if needed. If the data structure isn't great for analysis, I'll create a new table or a view using SQL or Denoto. Maybe aggregating by week, joining multiple sources, or calculating new metrics like revenue per product line. I usually document this setup in SharePoint so others can also access this table later on. Fourth step would be to explore in Excel. Before jumping into visuals, I look at the clean data in Excel. So I use pivot tables to find trends and X lookups or filters to validate the data. It helps me cache any issues early on and align it with what the business is expecting. Then I build the visual in Power BI. Once I'm confident with the numbers after the verification I did on Excel, then I build the visuals in Power BI. I build bar chart, slicer, KPIs, filter. The goal isn't to make it pretty, it's to make it clear and useful. I usually build a few draft version and get feedback before finalizing. So I do have a few meanings in between these steps. Then step six is where I share the insights in a quick meeting. So I share early insight in a short team's meeting just to make sure I'm on the right track. So I'll walk them through the dashboard or I'll send them a screenshot or even uh, share it on the SharePoint so they can access the dashboard and take a look at it and see that everything is going the right way. Then I automate the report with Denodo or Gateway. If the report needs to be refreshed regularly, I'll set up a live connection using Denodo or Snowflake and configure a Power BI gateway. That way it updates automatically no manual refreshes and no missing data at all time. Last step would be to retouch, document and deliver. Finally, we're done. This is where I clean up the visual, document the process in SharePoint and deliver the report. If it's a recurring dashboard, I also include version notes or usage tip. Then it's off to the next task. Make sure to document well because once you build something like that, they could also ask you a year later that the logic of the formulas have changed or they want some new add-ons. And just to make sure um, that you're able to find yourself, having it well documented will make things way easier for you when you're going to work on it again if they ask for a second version. So just keep that in mind. So yeah, being a data analyst is more than just dashboard. It's about asking the right questions, working with the right tools, and turning messy data into something that actually helps the businesses make decisions. I went back to my university to speak to a group of students and share my journey as a data analyst. It was such a full circle moment. Hopefully I inspired someone the way others once inspired me.